guys, it's Brandon here, and today I will be reviewing a multi-tool with a hammer because hammers are hammers and hammers are good and good as hammers. And so what we're going to be doing is we have a few different tests to see if this multi-tool is working properly in its former shape. And so let's just go ahead and get started. So basically... This is actually the tool itself. It's a uh, Eddie Bar Bauer. Bauer. See, I'm smart. Design knife. Uh, multi tool hammer. And uh, basically, what it is, is it's just like a normal hammer. Like you see, it has the nail puller router. It has the normal hammer. It has um, your multi tool, which I'll show you in a second. And it has a knife, and uh, I'll show you all the features. Also, comes with this very nice case to put it in which has a belt loop and also these uh, little screw bits if I can get one out I'll show you but uh, yeah and basically you can just put that in the top like that and start screwing um, and uh, like that and then just take it out put it back in like so, and put it back in the case, and you're all good. <clears throat> so, basically, let's do one thing at a time, and then all the tests at the end. Basically, we have a nice hammer here. Um, this is um, a really nice hammer. It's got a little bit of weight to it. I'd say it's about, you know, one or two pounds. Um, the, like I said, the, the hammer adds a lot of weight to it, um, so it's very nice. Um, and it has a uh, nail puller, and uh, like I just showed, the um, screwdriver. So next um, on the list, we have the pocket knife. I guess not a pocket knife, but you know. And um, so we have a stick. We'll be doing the test later. Um, but it's just a very nice um, drop point pocket knife. And then we have the screwdriver. This is more of like the universal kind, um, so it's it's only um, it only has one size, um, and you can just screw like that um, rather than the um, all different sizes. Um, it is um, a uh, Phillips screwdriver, um, so it's not flathead or anything like that. It's Phillips because that's a pretty common one. And it's a pretty common size. So I'll show you the knife and that. And then it has the classic, I think. I can get out. Uh, your um, saw, which I will also be testing on this. <laughs> can we have a moment of silence for that? <laughs> The retirement of my eyes. <laughs> Thank you. But we also have this uh, chisel and a saw and a file on the side. So a very handy tool. <sighs> Getting interrupted very rudely by my brother. <clears throat> Alright, and then the multi-tool last. So it comes down like that. And um, it's very cool. It's something I've never seen before. Um, and it comes down like that. Now, I'll talk about the multi-tool first, since that's what it is. Or, I mean, the uh, pliers first. So, it does have cutters, which is always very handy. Because you can use it for, like, fishing line or wire. Some special people back here. Um, is everything okay down there? Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a very unquality video because of my brother down there. Uh, maybe I'll just yank some some stuff out with these pliers. All right. Anyway, you know. So uh, 
pliers will also be testing those. So let's just get to the test. Um, yeah, like I said, I would say it's about two pounds, so it's very heavy. Holy crap. <laughs> right, so continue on with the video, um, and um, so the nice thing is we have a stick here. Now, what are sticks good for, you ask? Tests, alright? So, um, actually, no, we're going to do the hammer test first. We have little pins here, not very big nails or anything, but little pins, and a board here. So we're just going to see if it can hammer well and um, test this thing um, and then we'll uh, do a few and we can see if the pliers can take a nail out um, so obviously, obviously pins are um, a lot uh, more um, juicy I meant to say more delicate so they like greatest of hammer Thank you. Yeah. Doing it. Alright, so we got one and so that it's not the hammer's fault, it's just that I'm it's just that I just that I'm not doing too well here. And uh, we've got a sniffer brother in the back here that is not doing too good. Alright, we're not going to do that. So, alright, there we go. Got one to pull out. Alright, so that works extremely well. Next. See if we can fix this. You always need the right tool for the job, and I think the right tool in this case is the hammer. Perfect. As you can see, it works great. No, seriously, these that was not a very good test because I just can't do it. It's not the plow's fault. It's just that my muscles are too big for that. So, you know. so I will note that a big problem with this is that, you know, obviously kind of sticks into your hand a little bit, but, you know, it's fine. Now, you can obviously see I'm doing some squiddles like that. Um, shave it, you know. So very good. Also, once you uh, close the knife here, which I'm particularly good at, you can, uh, hold on. Uh, so next thing is the saw. Now, the saw is a very important piece of your multi-tool. Now, why, you might be wondering. Well, this is why. This is like a, a little chisel saw thingy. Uh, yeah. Basically, okay. and then you got this chisel here so that when you get frustrated, you can just attempt to you know, do that and then close it, and then you can uh, use. And uh, then you got your perfect walking walking stick. Very, very good walking stick here. Uh, my brother is telling me that this is not a saw. What would you like to call it? Uh, it is serrations for rope cutting, and it could be used as a saw. In a and it will be used as a saw. He's Mr. Critic. All right, so that's it for the review today. I hope. 
you enjoyed. I'm just not going to look at that. And, uh, and um, we just need to go ahead and end the video because my brother is torturing me. Um, anyway, as always, goodbye.